Hey guys, I'm Sebastian. I'm Christine. This is Ninth Island Connection, your weekly lifestyle resource for all things Vegas. Check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. We're on broadcast television, we're on cable, we're streaming on apps, we're everywhere, we're Ninth Island Connection. Also check out our social media, we're everywhere there too. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, we're Facebook, we're everywhere. Ninth Island Connection, your weekly resource. All right, guys. So we get a lot of questions about where to stay in Vegas. What is our favorite things to do? Where should we go? All these things. And as we've said in many videos, we can't answer that, honestly. Those are loaded questions. Yes, yes. <laughs> because what we like isn't necessarily what you guys are gonna like. So this video, we're focusing on rooms. We're gonna focus on our favorite Ours. rooms to stay in, just based solely on the rooms, nothing else about the properties, and our least favorite rooms, again, based solely on the rooms themselves. Yes. And funny thing, we don't even agree with this, <laughs> with each other on this, so. But to be fair, all of the rooms at the properties, I mean, they're unique to the property. Some of the properties are older, so the rooms are gonna be older. That doesn't necessarily make them a bad room. It's just older. So, you know, I we've never had, I think we can agree that we've never had an absolutely terrible experience at any property. One, one time. We had one, and I'll leave the property's name out of it. But that was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Then we're going through some changes. And we've stayed there many, many times. Since so, then. Yes. And it's been awesome. Yes. Awesome. Which is an important thing to bring up because no. you know what? If you have one bad experience at a property, it does not dictate what the actual property is overall like. Right. And fortunately, again, that's why we're sticking to just Caesars and MGM properties because that's where we've stayed the most multiple yep. times at all of the properties over years. So mm -hmm. that's where I guess we kind of feel we have a little bit of expertise. My top three favorite places to stay based on the room are Vajara, Caesars Palace, and Bellagio. How about you, Seth? Mine, so two out of three, we agree. This is my top three. Vidara, Mandalay Bay, and Caesars Palace. Now this is no particular order. This is not one, two, three. This is just my top three because I would have these all being equal. They all have their own thing. So it's kind of hard to pick a, a, a list, you know, when I would say all of these are at the top of my list. And this is where, again, we don't agree because I had mine in order. Like <laughs> Vidara. Let's talk about Vidara because we agreed on Vidara. Vidara is a great location on the Strip. It doesn't have the casino, but we're focused on rooms. So Vidara's rooms are amazing. We've never stayed in a bad room at yeah. Vidara. I mean, you have a washer dryer and a full kitchen. What more do you want? And some of them, but like the <laughs> bathroom, like you have a gigantic shower, you have a big soaking tub. You feel like you're not in a hotel room, you feel like you're in a home. And that's, yeah. I think what we like about it because a lot of times when we're down here, we're having to stay down here and kind of living and working as we're here on the strip. Yeah. So that's what I love about Vidara. So we also agreed on Caesars Palace where we're currently at. We're at right now. And because even a basic room at Caesars is gonna be the best basic room on the strip, I think of MGM properties and Caesars properties. And that's, and again, that's my opinion. That's yeah. just purely my opinion. They're, they're older a little bit, you know. Some, some of them. Of, some of them are yeah. older. Some of them are more renovated. But the best thing about Caesars is you typically get like a nice living room and you also get a big bathroom. And most of the rooms, not the Julius Tower and the Forum, typically don't have big jacuzzi tubs. Right. But Octavius, Augustus, and the palace towers all have big jacuzzi tubs yeah. and which is you know what i don't care what the room looks like just put me in that tub after a day of walking down the strip 
I'm happy. But I'd have to say even with Caesars, because we've stayed in every tower mm -hmm. here at Caesars, yeah. and they all have their own thing about them, like the Forum Tower, it's right on the casino floor. If you're coming to just gamble, you wanna be as close to the action as possible, the Forum Tower is perfect because the elevator literally opens on the casino floor, right in the action. But even the classic older rooms, they're clean and they have a classic Vegas feel to yeah, them yeah. because that is the oldest Caesars Tower. That's the first one that was here. So could you imagine like if those walls could talk? <laughs> <laughs> It's probably good they don't. Probably good that they like, don't. It's just that like classic Vegas feel, you know? So, I mean, I don't mind it. Yeah. All right, so here's where we disagree on rooms. I said for my third choice, Bellagio. And that's because I've not stayed in a Bellagio room that was bad. Like, they're just cute how they're decorated. They have a nice spacious living room as well. And they have nice big bathrooms with a huge tub. Clearly, I'm all about the tubs, which I know grosses some people out about, oh, you're taking a tub in Vegas, but trust me, I bring antibacterial wipes and clean it out before I ever would even put my big toe in there. <laughs> but I just, I love Bellagio's rooms. Mm -hmm. um, so. I do also, I don't dislike Bellagio rooms. My number three, and again, not in numerical order, uh, in my top three, but I think they're all equal. I love them all. I would have to say Mandalay Bay. I love the rooms at Mandalay Bay. They're big, their standard basic rooms are big. Yeah. And you know what? You can get a view of the Allegiant Stadium. Um, I just like it. I just They're big and spacious. And that's another one that's just like classic Vegas. Yeah. Like I just love their rooms. They, they haven't been renovated in a long time, yeah. but they're still very nice for being older rooms. Yeah, and they do have a very nice big bathroom as well. Oh, absolutely. Um, although, you know what trips me out about Mandalay Bay is like the line of closets. Like this. I like, love that everybody has their own space. Well, there's like, it's a closet, <laughs> the bathroom doors and the closets. And it's like, if you drink too much, you might end up, you know. Trying to go to the bathroom in the closet. Yeah, yeah. So, but <laughs> I would, yeah, Mandalay Bay is nice. I do like Mandalay Bay. So this is gonna be our least favorite. And again, this has nothing to do with the casino or the property because there's great dining options. Um, every casino has its own energy. This is purely the room, mm -hmm. purely the room type. And so, again, it's, and again, it is based, we're just looking at Caesars and MGM properties yes. on the strip. And there's nothing wrong with any of the rooms. Right. You just have to look at like some rooms are better than others on the strip. So mm -hmm. we want to give honest feedback. We've stated all of them multiple times, fine. They're just absolutely fine, especially if you're like us and you don't really hang out in your room much because right. you want to be out in Vegas. So that is our focus right now. Yes. So this is going to be my bottom three. And again, in no specific order and has nothing to do with the property itself. This is just for the room type. I'm going to have to go Link, Harris, and Excalibur. Harris. That's gonna be controversial because they've just been remodeled, but we'll talk about that. Okay, uh, I'm a little surprised <laughs> with the Harrah's. So I agree with you on Excalibur and the link, um, but this might also be controversial. I put New York, New York, not their renovated what? rooms. I know. The, re the renovated room we only stayed in once was yeah. so cute, so cute. And it was shockingly cute, um, but the other rooms are just kind of small and basic and mm -hmm. have like old bulky furniture and stuff. And so that's kind of where I came up with New York, New York. Um, do I love the property? Oh my gosh, yes. So much fun. So much fun. So do I care if the room's not that great? Not at all. But if we're looking at rooms, that wasn't my favorite. So if you are booking at New York, New York, look into a more remodeled, renovated room because they're so cool. The other ones are kind of like wah wah, but you said Harris, and Harris. I love Harris. So I love Harris. So don't get me wrong, I love to eat uh, pizza cake, Buddy V's pizza spot there. The piano bar is awesome. The casino, so much energy, it's so much action. The rooms are tiny though; they're tiny, tiny rooms. That is so true. if you're coming for multiple days. You're gonna have more luggage where the even like the closets in the Harris rooms it could be like this big. 
well, like maybe like 12 to 18 inches closet yeah. space. Well, the valley tower, at least you get two, but the mountain, you get that weird closet in the bathroom. Yeah, you got a weird, <laughs> like little mini closet, like 18 inches. Yeah. And so if you're coming three, four, five days, yeah. it's going to be very tight for space in there. And the, the rooms have been remodeled. And I tell you what, they're maximizing every inch of the rooms. And yeah. they, they're really nice. They did but a they're great just job. so small. If you went, if you stayed at Harris, like probably what would that be like seven, eight years ago, and it used to smell it was a like dump. it was so gross. It, was, it, was it smelled like like toilet, like sewer, and like just like toilets yeah. were overflowing, and like you'd take a shower and like you'd be in like four inches of bath water. Which yeah, it was is a so dump. Disgusting. They did a phenomenal job yeah. with the remodel, and like I said, they've renovated every single room, and they're fantastic. They're just so small for a basic room. And you know what, if it's gonna be just a quick one-nighter, Harris is available, absolutely. Because again, we're not coming here for the room. If we're just coming in for one night, that doesn't matter. Exactly, exactly. So we did agree on Excalibur. So what don't you like about Excalibur? They're just old. Like they're, Excalibur is an old property. Yeah. And again, the it's room fine, yeah. has nothing to do with the property. I love Excalibur. The table minimums are so low. You could play $10 craps. Stick to the room. To the room. <laughs> so again, I just don't want to take anything away from the property itself. But the room, they have like the big bulky armoires um, with the TV in the center. Um, they're just old. Like, and you know, they're just kind of a little musky old because of the carpet and that's it. It's just- Yeah, they're sort of worn. I would agree with you. I would agree they're like kind of older and worn and they're, need yes. of, they're in need of a renovation. Desperate need. So that's, I think with Excalibur, they're again, nothing wrong with them, just, not, we don't compare. Now, have I ever had a bad time at Excalibur? Absolutely not. We've always had a great time whenever we've stayed there. But if I had to have a bottom three for just room type, basic standard room type, Excalibur would be in my bottom three. It would be in my absolute bottom. Like that would be like the worst one. Um, and we also said the link. Which the link. We, we, we actually say the link. I oh, love the link. Yeah, I, I like saying it the link too. Um, I think with the link, we've stayed in multiple types of rooms there. Um, oh, we've stayed in suites. We've stayed in two bedrooms. Um, we've had two bathrooms. We had wet bar. Yeah. Um, we they, had. They have nice rooms available, yeah. but yeah. we're trying to just kind of do an just overall. like st just standard, standard yeah. your basic rooms. Yes, and even with the suites, there's no frills or anything like cool like other yeah. properties, and their basic room is basic. Yes. It's and it's tiny. Like yes. they did the best they could with what they had. I mean, if, That's you, another one if like you ever powers. if you ever stayed at Imperial Palace or the Quad, then like this is like what? It's like the Hilton. Yes. Like it's like it's improved so much from what it was, but it's still tiny, basic. It, right. Exactly. And let's be honest. The link caters to a younger crowd. They're known for their party pool, yeah. super high energy in the casino, um, low table minimums. You've got O'Shea's attached to it. You've got the Link Promenade. So the Link is not a property where people stay because of the room. Like you would stay at Bellagio because of the room, because it's a nice suite, it's super chill and relaxing and you feel like you're on vacation. People stay at the Link to party. The rooms are clean, they're remodeled, mm -hmm. they're fine. They're just super tiny and you have no amenities. Especially if you're doing two queens and you're sharing the room with someone. Then oh, you're like, tight. Then you're, it's like, you're Get to know over. your buddy. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna get to know something about your, about your friend when you stay with each other at yeah. the Link. Yeah, but, all right guys, that is our opinion. Right? This is our opinions on what we think. And again, we don't even agree with each other. And we've had these <laughs> same experiences in stays. Like we stayed together in these rooms. So we want to hear from you guys. What are, Comment below. are your favorite rooms on the strip? And you don't have to limit it to Caesars and MGM. We just did because that's where we have the most mm -hmm. experience. And we don't want to give false information on places that we've only stayed once or twice. Right. Um, but we want to hear from you guys. What is your favorite? What's your least favorite? Or is there a place that you would only say? Is there a place that you would never set foot in again? Because there are plenty of people that have commented on some of our videos like, oh, whenever I go to Vegas, I only stay at Aria. And this is why. Definitely want to hear from you guys. Please comment below. And if you have any questions about the properties, 
feel free to comment below as well or reach out to us through Facebook and Instagram. We're a lot faster that way as well. Yep. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this one. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, we go live every single Wednesday. We bring you an update on what to expect on that upcoming weekend. So for example, we go live on Wednesday. We tell you what's going on in Vegas and downtown and surrounding areas. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and if it's a long weekend, we're gonna throw in Monday. And we're talking sports, we're talking festivals, events, traffic, weather, everything going on in Vegas so that you can have the best possible stay on your Vegas vacation. All right, and for those of you who love Carlos, if he had a favorite room, it's any of them. <laughs> he doesn't really care. Yeah. So he loves them all. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for your support. Please give this video a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.